what do they want from me? They call me a disgrace, confounded and misplaced. They seek to take my life. You said you would give me life. You say I am your God, salvation and sacrifice. Then the came me, defend. Welcome to 
uh, the GMAP Broadcast Network. We are the number one faith-based, motivational, and inspirational broadcast platform in the country. Five times stellar nominated in a row, broadcasting in over 168 countries. We're always, and I literally mean that from the bottom of my heart, we are always honored, we're privileged, and we are blessed to have great individuals uh, join us on our platform as we do today. Um, this awesome couple, this awesome ministry. I'm going to start with Lashika. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sweetie. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Um, my name is Apostle Lashika Johnson. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. I was born and raised, moved to Chicago, and then now me and my husband here are here in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Now you know what, Lashika. How's the weather in Dallas? It's nice. I think today we's like eighty. Yeah, eighty yeah. degrees. Yeah, like 80. Well, you know what? I'm, it was nice talking to you. You guys have a great day. Bye. <laughs> it must be cold. It must be cold up there, huh? You know, they, you know what? I figured something out. They should not call this the Windy City. They <laughs> should call this Bipolar Chicago. Yes. <laughs> that sure. is the truth. Facts. <laughs> it could be 90 degrees today. Tomorrow it will be snowing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Look over, at your, look, look, look over at your husband, yeah. Lashika, and say, introduce yourself. Introduce hey, yourself. Okay, all right. Hey, I am Prophet Sean. I am uh, originally from Chicago, and I you know, was uh, born, well, I, I grew up in Chicago Heights. And, uh, you know, just met my wife. We met in, uh, we actually met in South Holland and in church. And uh, now we're here. We're here in Dallas. Yeah. Wow. Together. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what? You met in church. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, now I don't, I don't want you guys to laugh at me. But I met my wife at the courthouse. Okay. <laughs> All right. And no, 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 no. We were not both down there trying to get divorces from our previous spouses or nothing. I just want you to know that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Rescue oh, Me. Uh, Rescue Me is currently uh, one of our, uh, one of our current First of all, Sean, you got a very unique way yeah. of spelling your name. How do you spell? How do you spell your name, Sean? It's spelled uh, S H A U N. I'm, I'm, you know what? I am yeah. so grateful that I did not put the way I spelt your name on the screen because you would probably. Uh, you probably end up sending those guys after me, and I, 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 don't, want, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Oh, no, I, I really, I really didn't do, I really didn't do bad. I, I actually instead of the U, I had put in a uh, a W, so yeah. I, I didn't do, I, I didn't do so bad. I just wanted to make yeah. sure that I didn't jack you up too bad before I yeah. put it on. <laughs> So I had to make sure it was well, spelled right. They spell it that way. Yeah. Huh? I'm saying that most people they make the mistake of spelling it that way. Now I want to I want to I want to shift back over to uh, uh, to your wife uh, to Lashika, and um, I want you to tell me a little bit first and foremost about the hit single "Rescue Me." Um, I know that um, it's a uh, it's a uh, a single that has touched the lives of many. If it hasn't, it will. If it will, it continue. If, if it has, it will continue. I need yeah. to know the Roots Foundation. Where did it come about? How did it form? What is the, 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 the starting point? And you knew in your spirit it was time to focus on disseminating this single to people around the world. 
Um, it started from my own hurt, being in church and being hurt by not the, the child, the body, but certain people. Um, I was in a place where that being persecuted and, and people was coming against me and jealousy and envy was everywhere. And I just didn't, um, I didn't know where to turn to. I turned to the father and I, I felt like David in Psalms when he just said, you know, God, you see them trying to devour my flesh, trying to eat up my flesh, trying to come against me. They're trying to kill me. And <clears throat> like, what you going to do about it? And, you know, I needed the Lord to vindicate me. I needed him to make all the wrong that people were saying right. And so as believers, I know the Bible says that, you know, those in Christ would be persecuted for his name's sake. But I don't think we really be, we really know the, under, the understanding of the persecution we'll go through when we are in Christ. And so um, I was one of those people. I just was like, I read that scripture. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen like this. And I was going to be in a place of being hurt to the point where only God could mend my heart. And so I had to just start asking the Lord on a daily basis, uh, just Lord, rescue me, rescue me from my afflictions. You said you would, you said you'll be there. You said you will vindicate me. You said vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So I needed to see it. So that I started writing that, um, that song and I gave it to my husband. I told him what I heard and he just put the music to it. Well, you know, you know, I'm gonna jump over there on Sean. I'm, I'm gonna jump on you, Sean. I'm gonna just jump. I'm gonna jump right on you, man. Yeah. And you know, I, go ahead. I, go I, ahead. I, 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 I see. I'm one of those individuals that I learned early in my marriage that I don't like sleeping on my couch. Hey, me and you both. <laughs> It, Me and you it, both. It's so much more comfortable lying in yeah. my bed next to my wife. It's more. It's warmer. I tell. So I, yeah. I, I'm going to jump on you, man, and tell you when 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 Lashika first brought this to you, and 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 she said, "Hey, hey, honey, I got this song, Rescue Me," and and you kind of know the root foundation of it all, where it came from, yeah. how it came about. What was your mindset when you decided to go into the studio and say, I got to put some music to this? What was your mindset and how did it all flourish and come about? Well, it, it was more of just having a, uh, a sound or producing a sound that would be more, uh, more in alignment with the uh, lyrics and what she was uh, trying to convey to uh, people's heart who may needed to be uh, rescued. Um, you know, when, when she shared the song with me, I mean, not only did, you know, she, you know, go through the, the whole period of being per persecuted and, you know, demise and all that, but, um, you know, I went through that as well too, because we're, we're, we're one, we're both connected. And, um, so I, I understood the lyrics and I understood the importance of the sound that needed to go forth underneath mm -hmm. those uh, lyrics to, uh, you know, lay a, a sound of conveying the message that needed to uh, go out to those who uh, will or who are experiencing, you know, the same experience that we have experienced. You know, and I, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that um, there are a million, a million, there are millions and millions of people out there who is about to go through, is going through, or just coming out of the same things yeah. that you have just experienced. Yeah. And, 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 and it's amazing because. If you walk up to me today and tell me I had a great life, I haven't really had to go through anything, I'm going to say have a nice day to you. Mm. You know, yeah. um, 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 you have a nice day. I don't even want what you have. I would tell them, unless yeah. your name and unless you are Jesus. Because it's amazing mm. because I always tell people, uh, Sean and Lashik, I always tell people your destiny was determined before your delivery. Yeah. Everything that we endure in between is a part yeah. of the process. 
Mm-hmm. And, and and I'm just so encouraged by what you all are doing. You all, you all have blessed me already because I I know that you're involved in so many different avenues of ministry. I'm going to dive back mm-hmm. over to you, uh, Lashika. Tell us some of the things that you're doing in addition to blessing the people worldwide with your music ministry. What are some of the other things and some of the areas that you are you focus on? Um, we have a ministry called Reservoir Global Network, which, which is an apostolic teaching ministry. Um, we actually do it via um, uh, an app that they can sign on, and uh, we do a lot of teaching, foundational teaching on just Bible. Um, we also have a school of worship called uh, Soul, which is Sons of the Eternal. Um, uh, we have a threshing floor and mantle company that I do. Um, and uh, what else do we do? We have a deliverance ministry. We have an intercessor ministry um, we, where we pray for people. Um, we, we, we do a lot. I have a mentor group called Broken by Grace. Um, I am an author of four books, three that has been published. One I have not published yet. Um, it's, it's a lot that we do. And we, were, we are in the process of starting, uh, looking to start um, another ministry in Atlanta, Georgia. So we got a lot. Wow. You know, do, do, you, do, do, do you guys ever sleep would be my first question. And, uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm talking about how uncomfortable that couch is, but you know, yeah. Yeah, it's an uncomfortable to sit on because it seems like you might be sitting on that couch all day, every day, trying to get work done. Now, say it live Saturday. What? what? Oh yeah, that's. I it. mean, you know, you know, I'm gonna yeah. get an attitude with you if you don't if you don't mention that. Yes. We do that. We do Say It Live Saturday, which is our uh, teachings once a week. Um, and it's basically off topics that me and my team or people in our ministry, they're allowed to um, submit topics that they would like us to talk about and teach on. And so we just do that through our website. If you subscribe to our website, you can have access to that or through our YouTube channel at Reservoir Global Network. And um, we this this Saturday, we'll be talking, uh, having a live discussion. And and it's going to be interesting. I don't want to tell you the topic, but it's going to be really good. But we do this every week. We do Say It Live Saturday. If we're not able to do it live, it is pre-recorded and then it's just uploaded. So they'll still get teaching and some foundational stuff or on topics that, you know, and that's from ages 16 to 50, 60, 70 year olds send topics that they just like, I just need to know. I just wish you discuss this. And that's what we end up doing. It has been a blessing to us. Now let me let me uh, 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 say that um, first of all, let me slide over. I'm not go- I'm not gonna tease you about forgetting about my little old GMAP down here in the lower left hand corner of everything. I I'm not gonna say nothing, but I I'm gonna dive back over to Sean. Sean, can I get one of them T-shirts, man? Oh, one of them. Yes. Oh well, yes, definitely. You just let us know what size you're wearing. We'll yeah. mail it out to you. It don't matter what size. I'm aware if it's too tight. I'm aware if it's too loose. I'm aware it ain't gonna matter. It's gonna fit. <laughs> it's gonna fit now. Yeah. But we also gotta get you one for your wife too, because we don't want you to, you know, be on that couch. Please don't be on that couch. <laughs> I realize how to overcome that. If you only yeah. send me one. It's her. Oh, oh good yeah. job. Hey, that is that is a good job. Man, I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. Hey, honey, they sent you a T-shirt. They gonna send me mine. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, we'll do that. hey, man, yeah, you know what? We have to learn how to adjust in all circumstances for yeah. protection yeah. purposes, not. Yeah. Just protecting my wife from others, but protecting mm-hmm. me from my wife. I ain't no fool. I love that. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. 
Hey, now, of course, uh, for those that don't know, uh, of course, uh, Sean and Lashika uh, Johnson here on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Uh, that's GMAP, the number one, dot com. I want you guys to pay attention real close because uh, uh, what I'm sharing with you, Lashika, she has been so supportive. She has been so determined. She has been so loyal. She has been so dedicated. She's been so honest. She's been so filled with desire to look out for us and the ministry and God's people worldwide. Let me go through this process. Number one, she is a, a featured music ministry on the GMAP broadcast network platform. What does that mean, Pastor Kevin? Go ahead, Sean, ask me, ask me. What does that mean, Pastor Kevin? I'm so glad you asked. All right. <laughs> um, um, that means uh, you can come to uh, gmap1.com and, of course, uh, go to our music ministries area. You'll see a copy of the cover that you're currently seeing. Uh, um, and, of course, uh, To Breathe, Rescue Me. Um, it is placed there, linked to the necessary location. Nine times out of ten, I'm directing it to the website. You can get more intimate information about this particular single and the music ministry in general. Also, um, this particular single is being aired 10 times plus a week here on GMAP Broadcast Network. Yes, you heard me correctly, 10 times plus a week. You know, two, three times a day. I love supporting those that show support for us. More importantly, mm -hmm. us together showing support for God's people. I love it. I can't oh, yeah. let it go. And I refuse to go get sidetracked. Also, of course, uh, you heard them uh, speak, uh, Sean and Lashika, you heard them speak about Reservoir. Am I saying that right? Am I saying it right? Yes. yes. Okay, so what I said, you heard them speak about Reservoir, uh, the Reservoir Network. Of course, that also is a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network Global Media Ministry family. We're doing a lot uh, with the connection of GMAP Broadcast Network and Reservoir Network. And of course, you can stop by our partners area. Go to our partners area on the GMAP Broadcast Network platform. You'll see uh, this awesome ministry information posted there as well. Um, you can click on the banner and it'll take you directly to the necessary location uh, to get more intimate information about mm -hmm. this awesome organization. Now, number three, I'm not done yet. You know, thank you, Lord. You're not done with me yet. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> number three, I said live on Saturday, something that I had to make sure she cannot, will not, and won't forget about. Said last Saturday airs on the GMAP Broadcast Network every Saturday. Uh, I might have forgot the time. Is it 5 p.m.? Um, Lashika, you might have to help me out with the time. Yes, it's 5 p.m. I, I knew that. I knew that. I was just testing you. I was just, <laughs> I, I was just testing you. Uh, every Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, say it live, Saturday. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time at the GMAP Broadcast Network. I got to go over to uh, 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 Sean. Sean, what's your take on Say It Live Saturday? I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about your input and your direction when it comes to providing that awesome program to people around the world. Well, hey, uh, with, with Say It Live Saturday, it's, it's really a, you know, a, a, a open... Um, platform that we uh just geared towards helping people you know in in regards to the different things that they may may deal with in ministry in their lives uh there's teaching teaching of the word of, of god mm -hmm. there, there's many you know things that we we deal with uh within our ministry within our homes uh in our communities uh, th th these are things that uh, he really talks about. Nobody really deals with. Nobody confronts or even, uh, you know, uh, holds some sort of uh, accountability. And um, we we believe that God has uh, placed us 
to uh, present Say It Live Saturday to bring up those issues. Um, when, when we, you know, put those issues out, our, um, well, God's agents to really, you know, just have them, you know, either be delivered, you know, have some landing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, just in a position uh, be uh, to be more uh, in terms of what God is trying to uh, uh, give them, with mm -hmm. in terms of where they are in their lives, or Amen. you know, what, Amen. what, what Amen. have to do with their situation. Yeah. Amen. Wow. Now, I, you know what? Praise God for you. And again, we make sure that that particular program is uh, being aired every Saturday, say it live Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on the GMAP Broadcast Network. My next question would have normally been something along the lines of what's next for you, but I refuse to ask you that question. I refuse <laughs> to ask you that question. I'm going to dive right in uh, uh, to our home stretch um, um, before we uh, prepare ourselves to be blessed by uh, the hit single to breathe rescue me once again um, I'm gonna ask um, Sean I'm gonna ask you to put it in the back of your mind I'm gonna want you to at least be able to share uh, the contact yeah. information with our viewers and listeners but I have a question specifically a scenario specifically set aside for Lashika and <laughs> Yeah, it, it I it it is what it is, as they say. And in the back of your mind, Sean, <laughs> I um I want you to just prepare to share that information with our viewers and listeners before we uh before we become blessed with the hit single and close out and go to the next phase. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, um we are here with uh a husband and wife team, awesome ministry, so many great things going on. Um, please, by all means, stop by GMAP Broadcast Network. Click on the logo in our partners area. Click on the uh, cover art in our music ministries area. Click on the uh, program, Say It Live Saturday, on our broadcast schedule. But this, this couple, this ministry will be a part of our broadcast network global media ministry platform for many many years to come you know whether you all like it or not you ain't going nowhere i'm going to keep you there. <laughs> you're, 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 you're you're gonna be a part of this platform um because you have given me a desire to want to connect with individuals god's plan people like yourself mm -hmm. and I'm grateful for you mm -hmm. um, so in the back of your mind Sean be ready for that but Lashika I'm going to draw a scenario yes. up for you and I just want you okay. to answer it accordingly the question is I always wanted to say that I don't even know why um, <laughs> I'm going to put together what I call my megatorium my Megatorium is going to consist of the T.D. Jakes Potter's House and the Joel Osteen Auditorium put together. That's my <coughs> Megatorium. Y'all okay. right. don't stop, stop laughing at me. Okay. In my Megatorium, there's 50,000 seats. 25,000 of those seats are occupied by young ladies. And the thing about these young ladies is they've been through some stuff. They've had some trying times, trials, tribulations. They, they've been battered. They, they've been abused. They've been convicted. They, they've been every negative thing that the natural man... Mm -hmm can name in the book. The other 25,000 seats are occupied by men, young men, exactly like your husband. Now, you're the only one. Now, the reason I said that, 
You're the only one that knows the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the pretty, and the ugly about him. You're the only one that knows what he's been through. You're, you're the only one that knows what he's going through. But you are also the only one that knows where God has taken him to. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's enough to shout right there. Yeah. <laughs> My God, I didn't know. God, where you get that one from? Jesus. In my megatorium with 50,000 seats, 25,000 occupied by young ladies, the other 25,000 occupied by young men exactly like Sean. I had the honor, the privilege, and the blessing. Remember, I refused to sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. I had the honor, the privilege, and the blessing of introducing my lovely wife to the podium. Smart man, Kevin. Come on, man. Come on, tell me, Sean. Hey. You swear. I'm pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had the honor of introducing my lovely wife to the podium, who in return had the honor of introducing Lashika Johnson to the podium. My question would be, Megatorium, 50,000 seats, occupied by 25,000 young ladies, 25,000 young men. You know their situation. Lashika, what would you say to them? What would I say to them? Um, <laughs> probably a lot, but one thing probably what I would first say to them is that um, God is able. He's able to do everything that you came seeking and desiring for him to do. He's able to do it. And why I know that is because I once sat in the same seats and I understand it all. And so even though I, it may, I may dealt with it differently and uh, it may look differently, it was the same circumstance and that God was able to deliver me out of all type of things. Um, and I, I'm very transparent, all type of identity issues and sexual identity issues and, and hurt and, and batter and a mental and sometimes physical abuse. If he can do it, if he was able to set me free, he's able to set every person in this room free if you just open your heart and receive them. That's what I'll say. Amen. 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 Woo. I'm, ooh, I'm just... All I can say is thank you for that. I would have thrown a monkey wrench in the game, but Sean, I had the privilege yes, of introducing you to the podium. What would you say to them? Oh, man. <clears throat> what, what I would say to them is a um, give, give them a, a, a real strong word of encouragement. Um, there's a, a strong word of encouragement that will un unlock the, the things that they're not able to see, mm -hmm. the hidden things, the, the, the original intent of their heart, their original path that they're supposed to take that God has laid out for them. I would encourage them that God is ordering their, their steps, no matter how it looks, um, no, no matter where where you've come from. God is continually ordering them, and there is a uh, a, a a breakthrough. There's a, a going through mm -hmm. where they're they're heading to and going towards the end. But through it all, they need to know that they're going to endure it, and the, and the only way that they're going to endure it is uh, through through the Lord, through the Lord, and and. You know that's you know pretty much it yeah. that that will get them to uh, press towards the mark where 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 they're going towards, mm -hmm. and there's a victory at the end, a light at the end. Come on! And and if if you if you allow if they allow themselves to to uh, uh, you know to keep themselves from um, being you know being blind, if they allow themselves from staying blind. They they will not see what the father is doing how he's ordering their steps mm -hmm. but there's a light there's victory at the end of that uh uh of that path that they're taking yeah 
Amen. In Jesus' name. Man, you know, Jesus name. and I'm, I'm honored, I'm grateful, and I'm privileged to know that you guys honestly have a word of encouragement because you never really know who may be sitting in an audience that yeah, way. You that's never true. really know what, you know, as a matter of fact, we go to church every week. Well, at least we used to, but sometimes we don't know the pain that, and, and the suffering that the person is going through sitting right next to us. Mm -hmm. So you always have to be ready, willing, and able to share a word of encouragement, to share a word of motivation, yes. of inspiration uh, to people. Yeah. Um, I always tell people there's a message that I uh, preached that a mother of the church, will, she said, I can preach that message every time I come to the pulpit and she'll be just as happy as she can be. And the title yes. of the message, and I'd like to share it with those 50,000 people, and it's simply, there's a miracle attached to your circumstance. Yes. I leave them with that. Because I always tell them, don't trust me, don't trust your mother, father, sister, brother in a, in a matter of bringing you through your storm. Trust them naturally but the reason I say yeah. is because for all I trust him I want you guys mm -hmm. to do your homework take the first letter in each word and tell me what you come up with and that will take you to your next dimension for all I trust him we thank God for your presence. We thank God for you. We thank God for what you're doing for his people. Not just locally, but around the world. We thank God that he has allowed you all to connect with us. Sean and Lashika Johnson, an awesome ministry, Reservoir Network, music ministry, all kind of ministry. Just ministries, okay? Just stuff, ministry, deal with ministry, okay? Just so, so many minutes. I want you to share uh, before I dive into uh, airing your single. Um, just share how it is that uh, um, they can reach you through your website, social site, and or phone number, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> They can uh, reach us through our um, our website at uh, www.reservoirglobalnetwork.com. Um, they on our Facebook page it is called Reservoir Global Network. Um, our Facebook page also to breathe, um, and also on our um, YouTube channel it is uh, Reservoir Global Network. They can search it and it'll pop up. Um, Oh, and also, <laughs> we are, uh, we just, we released, uh, like a week or two ago, we released a, a utterance album called When God Utters, which is on Spotify and some different places. It's like, it's just, it's just, uh, copies of, uh, like live recordings of us actually having worship in our home, um, and just how we worship God and just getting and just let, allowing God to talk to us. So if, if they can check that out on Spotify, iTunes, all type of places, uh, it'll be on YouTube uh, this week. So they can listen to it on our YouTube channel. And so it's just live worship. It's not a. Um, it, it's just like two, two, almost three hours of just live worship of us just worshiping God and and a God prophecy and prayers and the scriptures and different things like that. So they can reach us. Um, yeah, through our website is probably best at ResurrectGlobalNetwork.com. Amen. I I thank you both so much um, for taking time out to be with us today for the understanding of the last time we were together. And for your patience, yeah. uh, your patience, your determination, your dedication to do what God has placed in your spirit. Um, I thank God for your uh, technical uh, technical man back there. Uh, I didn't forget about him. I see him on this job, and uh, we appreciate you <laughs> doing that. Um, yes. uh, I'm going to dive into the single, uh, but before I do that, I just want to say, Heavenly Father, our Father, our God, we 
We come to you first and foremost, as we always should, to simply say thank you. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for uh, uh, this union uh, between ministries, between your people. We thank you, Father God, for just giving us the hope, the strength, the love we need to move forward, to do your will, to do your work, and to do it your way. We thank and we praise you for this day. We praise and we thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. amen.
strong and 